I'm going to go to the back because I haven't done that. Uh, go ahead, Cap. Yeah. Thanks, Marie. On the 58th anniversary of the Selma to Montgomery March, also known as Bloody Sunday, uh, we know the President Biden will be in Selma on Sunday to give remarks. Last year, Vice President Harris gave remarks and traveled. Uh, why was it important for the President to vote this year? And is there anything you can preview about his, uh, his speech, whether he'll talk about voting rights or even an uh, issue that's important to black, the black community, which is the censoring of black history? So um, I'll have more to preview uh, about uh, Sunday, hopefully tomorrow. So we'll work on that to, to make sure that we have uh, some, 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 something for all of you to preview. Look, the President w did do the march uh, back, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, back in 2019 uh, with then John, with then icon uh, leader, clearly a hero, uh, John Lewis, and he um, had an opportunity uh, to uh, go to the bridge, had an opportunity to go to, to the church uh, and do this with um, then Congressman John Lewis, as I just mentioned, and he, it was an honor for him to do that. This is someone, if you think about how the president got involved in politics, it was very much uh, connected to the civil rights movement, so this is important to the president. Uh, Bloody Sunday, as we know, is a part of our history uh, that is tragic. Uh, that is clearly uh, deadly, that led to, uh, uh, that helped lead to the civil rights movement, getting uh, voting rights uh, done and on the books and to protect uh, a group uh, Americans who, uh, to give them the right to make sure that they felt safe and gave them the right uh, to vote. So clearly this is something that's incredibly important. He looks forward uh, to going to, to Selma, Selma on Sunday, uh, again on a historic day that we should not forget a part of our history that we should just not forget and continue uh, continue to um, remember uh, those who fought very hard uh, for um for, for the rights of many Americans. Another question. Um, uh, the COVID era uh, SNAP benefits expired this week. Uh, some uh, policy experts have uh, expressed concern that uh, many households, especially black and poor and minority communities, uh, will not have enough funds to uh, pay for their groceries. Uh, what is the White House message to those who are concerned uh, that they won't have enough funds to pay for their food? Well, this is a White House, as I've stated many times before, that uh, really cares about all Americans and making sure that no one is left behind. And we see that. We've seen that time and time again uh, in the president's, uh, you know, pieces of uh, policies and legislation. And that's what the president's going to continue to do, uh, whether it's policy that's coming out of an agency, that we are really dealing with communities that, that are dealing with a hard time, especially as we've, uh, as we've seen the last uh, three years of COVID. Uh, that's why the president passed the American Rescue Plan, to get us back on our feet, uh, to deal with, um, to deal with um, uh, uh, communities and families who are not able to put uh, food on the table or help them put food on the table, uh, making sure that our kids uh, were uh, being taken care of as, as schools were closed, making sure those schools were being open. And so this is, again, from the first piece of legislation to policies coming out to different agencies that has taken this very seriously on uh, making sure that families who were hurt the hardest, uh, uh, you know, continue to get that relief. I'm just, I'm going to try and go 